Hey fellow devs, I'm Mott, that's M-O-T, and I'm the creator of .env, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use it. I'm gonna just get straight to how to use it versus why you should use it. So you want, you're gonna wanna go to this repo, github.com slash mott.la slash .env, or .m, and let's scroll down here and we're gonna run the install command. So uh, first, let's create our project. We're gonna call this hello world. And inside this hello world, we're gonna have a JavaScript file that says console log hello world. And let's just make sure that's working. Okay, great. It's, it's uh, running hello world. So next, let's install .env. Run npm install, .m save. That installs it to our package JSON file. So we've got it there as the dependency now. Let's close that. We should still be able to run our app with no changes. It still says hello world. And the next step is we're gonna create a .env file. A .env file is where you put all your secrets. It's gonna be things like your database credentials, API keys, um, and maybe encryption keys, things like that for your app, especially as your app grows. We're gonna create a very simple one. So we're gonna say hello equals universe. And let's close that. If we try to run it, it's still gonna say hello world. So the next step is right here, we're gonna take the require call. We're gonna put this at the very top of our JavaScript. And we're going to go ahead and let's change this to these brackets so we can do string interpolation. And we're gonna call process.env.hello. So when I run this, it's gonna first run require.env, run the config command, which is gonna bring in the .env file, load it inside your process.env, which is all your environment variables. So when you're running your app on a server or on your local machine, there's already, already all these process environment variables. We're just essentially adding to those. And so we're gonna add the hello one, and we should get hello universe. And we do. And so that's it. That is how you use .env. Uh, it's super straightforward. It's a great way to start separating your secrets from your code. Can you believe that before this, before this was created, uh, most everyone still put their secrets in their code? Um, let's not do that. Let's keep it separate. So uh, thanks for watching. Once again, I'm Mott, the creator of .env, and uh, have a great day.